Now to California, where there have been three mass shootings in the last three days. First, it was Monterey Park, then in Half Moon Bay. A gunman killed seven people at two separate farms in what police are calling an incident of workplace violence. Then in Oakland, a gunman opened fire near a gas station, killing one and injuring seven others. Plus, in Washington state, three people at a convenience store were killed. Police say the suspect the suspect is dead after a self-inflicted gunshot wound. ABC's Rena Roy is in Half Moon Bay, California, tracking the latest on all these cases. Multiple shooting investigations underway across the West Coast. In picturesque Half Moon Bay just outside of San Francisco, officials identifying a possible motive in the massacre that left seven dead and one injured Monday evening. Only known connection between the victims and the suspect is that they may have been co-workers. Police say the gunman, 67-year-old Chun Li Zhao, opened fire at two farms one mile away from each other with a legally purchased semi-automatic weapon. Come here, hands up. Hours later, the suspect found in the parking lot of a police substation and arrested. Only in America. Number one in gun ownership, number one in gun deaths. It's not even complicated. And guess what? This happened on our watch. Now authorities investigating another shooting in Yakima, Washington. 21-year-old Jared Haddock suspected of killing three people at a Circle K convenience store on Tuesday morning. Uh, we don't have a motive. We don't know why. This comes after 11 people were killed during a Lunar New Year celebration in Monterey Park, California over the weekend. All of the victims in their 50s, 60s and 70s now identified, including Sho Juan Yu, 63-year-old Lilan Lee and 68-year-old Valentino Alvero, a father and grandfather. His family saying we hope that he danced to his heart's content until the very end and hope that he is now dancing in heaven. And there is still no known motive in the Monterey Park shooting. Officials looking into a potential domestic violence scenario. Rena Roy, ABC News, Half Moon Bay, California.